Z Wade Photo back with another video. I wanted to take a second to talk about the Lawa. One, well, I don't have it in my hand because I sent that beast back. I guess technically it's an okay lens, but man, it was a real pain in the ass to shoot with. Now it's super cool that it will do the 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 two to one. But when you're zoomed in like that, you pretty much got to be on a tripod. It didn't seem like my Z6 was was uh, using its its in-body image stabilization like at all. Like at least it wasn't doing me any favors. Now I will say that it focuses incredibly close. If you're going to be shooting on a tripod, I'm sure it's probably a fantastic lens. However, I don't really shoot on a tripod that much. Like even with landscapes, like if I can't if I can't get it with in-body stabilization, then you know, I probably just won't shoot it. I think against tripods are incredibly useful. I'd like to have a nice one, and if I had a nice one, I'd probably use it, but the problem is, I don't have a nice one. Without getting too far off subject, that lens just simply wasn't for me. I will say that the build quality was pretty damn good. It wasn't particularly comfortable uh, off the front of my camera because it was just a little, a little thin, I guess. And so it kind of forced me to have a really, uh, I don't know, like it just didn't feel good and it, it just wasn't a, a good fit for me. If you too had bought that lens and thought, man, this just isn't the macro lens I was hoping for, I would just suggest that maybe you check out the Takina 100 millimeter macro. That's, that's the best macro lens I've shot so far. One of the selling points for me was the fact that it was available in a Z mount, but here's some hardcore bull stuff. If you look at the Canon mount, it totally has CPU contacts. The Z6 mount does not have CPU contacts. Now that wouldn't be a problem since looking through the viewfinder of a mirrorless camera is what you see is what you get, only it was not really accurately representing what I was getting. It looked like it would be acceptably dark and savable, but whenever I would actually look at it, it was way too dark. Now I don't know what would be causing that, but it was just a real pain in the ass. I don't shoot enough macro to have a full like ring light or or uh, some other kind of setup. I do have a flash, but like I don't really like to mess with it that much. Whenever I'm shooting macro, like I, you know, like I'm manual focusing, and so I need both my hands, and I don't like on top of camera flash, and it, I, it just wasn't gonna work out. I'm not saying that that lens is a piece of crap at, at all. That's absolutely not what I'm saying, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't give it a try. I have absolutely no authority to be giving out advice to anybody. This channel is all about my personal opinions. If I say you should buy something, you should check it out. Don't just go buy something and hate it and be like, oh, Zach, you said that you said that this was awesome. Well, for me, it is awesome. Well, for me, this lens was just not, not a good fit. That's a wrap for this short episode of Z Wade Photo. I hope you found this video useful if you're considering getting the Lawa 100 millimeter 2.8 Ultra X QRF Element OP, whatever it is. If you did find this helpful, if you did find it entertaining, make sure you like, share, subscribe, consider making a small donation in the PayPal link below. All of those things help this channel grow and I will catch you in the next one.